Here we are on the road back to Ogden. I am extremely bored, so I am taking a video while I drive because this road is fairly boring and straight and nothing is really happening and my iPod is dead. Gotta turn off my brights here because there's a car over there on the other side. Um, but yeah, so just kind of hanging out. Just came back from Christmas break, which was very exciting. Oop, there we go. I can turn them on again. Um, might be able to see there's some patches of ice on the ground there uh, every once in a while, but it's really not too bad. Um, this camera can't really see as much as I can. Uh, I can see actually a lot further ahead than the camera does. But, uh, you know, I'm just uh, driving along here. Here is my dashboard. I don't know how well you can read that. Um, I suppose I could turn up the uh, dial. So you can read it better. Oh, it's up to the highest it can go. Yeah, as you can see down there, my brake light is out. There's my uh, odometer. It says we are at 187,530 miles, uh, which is pretty impressive. When I bought this car, it was um, about 168,000, I want to say, maybe 166,000. Uh, ooh, there's a rest area coming up in one mile. That would be nice. Uh, although I don't really need to rest because I had coffee before, um, which is kind of key. I think, because usually when I go to McDonald's, I just get the uh, I just get the soda and a bunch of sandwiches. But the soda doesn't have enough caffeine, even though I get the large soda, too. But, um... Oh, ooh, this is interesting. Check this out. Uh, negative 11 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Uh, I'm going to open the window a little bit here, and uh, we'll, see, we'll see what's going to happen. Um... You can hear the wind, probably. There, I'm sticking my hand out the window. That is cold. That is very cold. Very, very cold indeed. And you know what? I think I will get off at the rest area here. We're just going to go along. And maybe we can do some drifting if there's ice on the on, in the parking lot. Uh, cars and pickups. Okay, we don't want to go to the trucks and trailers, so we're going to go this way. Doo -doo -doo. Ah, just a nice leisurely. Oh, almost dropped that there. Just a nice leisurely stroll through the um, through the rest area here. This is very nice. Looks like there's another car over there. Um, I am just gonna I'm just gonna park here and uh, hope for the best. If this car wasn't here, I would probably do some drifting. Uh, but then then again, oh, whoops, my brights are still on. Oops. Um, yeah, so, here we are. I'm going to put the car in park, put the brake on, and, uh, lights off, and boom. And I'm sure there are numerous problems with my car, which is what that beep is all about. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's go outside and, uh, have, have a look around, shall we? Um, ooh, that is cold. That is very cold. So, <coughs> here's the rest area, just hanging out. Uh, here's me. Whoops. Hello there. I am Luke Steger, and I am on a journey, an epic journey, uh, home to Ogden, back to uh, teach my students and everything. And since it's so cold, I am going to bundle up here. Uh, it's very exciting. This person in the other car is heating up. I wonder if they're just sitting there. They're probably wondering what the heck I'm doing uh, here, getting dressed outside in the cold uh, and talking to a camera. But uh, you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm. This is entertaining me. I hope it's entertaining you. Someday, someday, my children and grandchildren will be watching this movie and they'll be like, "Wow, Dad slash Grandpa." You are crazy. Um, why did you make this video? It's so lame. And then, uh, yeah. And they will make much fun of me. And I will be very sad. Um, oh yes, oops! I just shut the door on the car, which made the camera fall off. So, <coughs> ah, now we are all set for the cold. And 
I am going to go to the bathroom, which is very exciting. I'm sort of tempted to go to the bathroom outside and see if it freezes, but that might be a little scary and there might be people around, so I'm going to go inside. But, <coughs> yes. So here's my, this is my beautiful car, which you can't really see in this light very well. Um, but yeah, it's a nice BMW. Very nice, very nice. Uh, looking pretty good, you know, no no damage or anything like that, which is pretty nice. So, <coughs> let us, uh, let's see what we've got here. Just walking along, uh, enjoying the evening air, while this car over here is still sitting around doing nothing. Ah, here we go. <coughs> Lake Bonneville. It, in case you can't read it, it says, 20,000 years ago, this land was underwater. Not far to the north, you can see the old shore of Lake Bonneville. Formed in a basin from which no river reached the ocean, this became the largest lake in North America. Finally, the lake rose high enough to overflow into the Snake River. Then after the climate got drier and the great basin of Utah and Nevada became mostly a desert, the lake receded. Salt Lake and two other remnants are all that are left of this old 20,000 square mile lake. One might say 20,000 leagues under the lake. Ha ha, I'm so clever. <coughs> ah yes, let us go inside and warm up a bit for I believe it is very cold out here oh one can even see the frost on the windows perhaps we shall leave our own, our own mark down here oh my it's not even doing anything well, that's unfortunate I would not like to put my hand oh look Heidi and Daniel. I wonder who those two are. <coughs> I don't know why I'm continuing to speak in a British accent. Ah uh, yes, here's a sign for Idaho. Ah uh, yes, the drinking fountain. <coughs> and now, ah, another poster. That van is still sitting out there. It's very strange. Well, I must bid you farewell, and I shall return. <laughs>